So this mural is called Rain Sister. Um, the property, the people that used to own this property um, was the Rain Brothers. And so we made um, a mural for them. And uh, I, this is a piece that I have uh, called, a series that I do called Spirit Sisters. And so basically she represents, you know, the spirit of who we are inside and making sure that we're positive and good. And the fact that the work that they were doing here was so positive and good. And we also added the water droplets by it to sink up the rain and making sure with rain things grow and succeed. And so that's where we came up with that. Yeah, so a uh, picture was taken uh, pretty much right here. And um, it uh, was just me and my son Finn. And uh, last year when it's nice out, we love having a yard, Finston Yard, where we can hang out. And we were doing that, hanging out. And uh, I'm always looking for just any sort of chance I can get a good shot of him and uh, sharing it with the world. So we have a lot of followers of our of our of, uh, of Finn on on social media because I guess he's kind of cute. Well, one of them did that photograph. Um, that was a building at the end of the street, a house, um, and then the the, the uh, uh, garage, the center block garage. And just the way it's, you know, disheveled door with the spray paint and on it and everything. It just really struck the court. So that was a, you know, a snap. I think I liked it uh, when I found out the, the, the girl sprouts really like that, you know, image or something. I gravitated towards it. I thought, that, you know, that kind of gives me hope. <laughs> so my picture is of uh, the neighbor here, the small Jeremiah. And when I was here at Second Sight, I just set out to really document the neighborhood uh, as I saw it around me. And uh, that had to include some of the neighbors. And so because of that access and just days of being on the porch together, uh, I got lucky enough to be able to capture that really beautiful image of Blue Joe. Um, so with the picture is with the Rain Sisters Miko and then a puppy that I had just recently gotten and um, it's a shot of me on my uh, front porch. I was trying to get both animals to um, pose and they wouldn't do it and I love that the picture caught me laughing in the middle of that moment. Um, well, the picture was taken, we were just hanging out at a couple friends house um, over here on Chicago Avenue so um, we had all just bought these shirts and put, had them produced that said, don't gentrify me. So the shirts just pretty much just came off the press, so I just took them over to the house and we all put them on and just decided to just take a picture since we were all there. Um, that's pretty much it about the picture. We didn't just thought, hey, we love taking pictures and this is something we care about, so we're all here. Let's take the picture. Well, the, the picture is, is capturing a moment that doesn't happen often and, and it involves, for me, it involves kind of the elements of the earth and so of the world and that are natural and so those, those rainbow moments you just don't see them too much actually here in Ohio when you do it I you capture them and today we have the ability with our phone so it just happened to be right here and and, and for me also it, it's it's a rainbow over my community my neighborhood two neighbors very different neighbors uh, but very good people and so uh, so it's it's kind of a precious in that sense. It's my my community. It's the world, and it's me interacting with that. The photograph I took was of Sally's Market at night with people walking by. Uh, that particular night that I took the photograph was the night of the Fourth of July fireworks, which is a particularly fun day to sit out on the front stoop and people watch because. Sullivan Avenue is just scores of people walking in to see the fireworks and coming back afterwards. It's um, it's a really fun time to be in the neighborhood, actually. Yeah, so I took the picture um, just because it looked really pretty. It like caught my attention as I was walking one day past the mural here, and yeah, it just looked really like bright and sunny and cheerful, and uh, clouds like against the mural looked pretty and I wanted to capture it as a way of just remembering a really beautiful day as I started to settle into a new neighborhood and a new community. Yeah, I just wanted to remember that day. Um, 
the Little League is um, people getting together to help the, help out the community, uh, pick up litter. As, as you know, we have much litter here, um, but it has come, we've been doing this about, I say two years now, uh, plus with three women in the shovel, this is going on our fourth year. Well, the young youth on the banner, uh, I feel like uh, Franklinton's have great, uh, great youth here. Um, you know, sometimes we're not looking at the youth as uh, positive, but these group of people, they are positive, and I've seen more positive with the youth coming and helping um, to, to, to do our challenge in helping us picking up the litter. And these young people, I mean, they were, they were outstanding. They were awesome. Uh, smiles, uh, coming back telling me how people appreciate them. And so that's what I want people in this neighborhood to know that our youth are about something and they're about helping the community succeed what we need to do here.